All right, so we already spoke about Dust 2. For me, it's, it's the battle of Wrecker and Sniper versus Alien Forest. But will the orbs even arrive? Will there even be ever any economy for, uh, for the Australians to even have? What do you think? Yeah, <coughs> it really depends on how NIP plays. As I said earlier, it's uh, really decisive if NIP decides to go for those stupid low economy buys because yep. they bring like way too confident. Like we won the first map 16-5, it's Dust 2, we're just going to crush them, let's just buy every round. Like if they just play as they should, this should be no problem whatsoever for NIP. Yeah, it's, it's looking already to be pretty interesting because Ali's pushed long, so he's taken that away from and immunity. Exactly. Immediate reaction from them as well. And I'm unit actually won the pistol round, which we apparently missed, so uh, sorry about that, but it's uh, second round here, so I'm unit won the pistol round. Nice move from Mr. but he doesn't somehow pick up any kills, and it's already looking quite good here for NIP. They've taken down everyone but James, and he is going to try to do what he can, but... To be fair, Freiburg is pretty low for us as well, but he's playing a really smart game here, only showing his head, and he is going to take down James. So they got, uh, this is the worst case scenario, they've been reset straight away, that's, that's worse yeah. than losing the pistol. Yeah, exactly, and in this game, winning the pistol, of course, is important, but you have to win the second round as yeah, well, yeah. for it to, like, really matter. And Immunity failing to do so, doing the force by. <laughs> Maybe we will see the force by versus force by seven rounds in a row now. Though I think CT does two is probably the hardest CT to have to force by. On. Okay, so they've uh, actually stacked three players. Oh, sorry, two players towards middle here have immunity. They've got one man in B as well, but they're playing pretty defensively. They've got scouts working. Um, and NIP has long and they have smoke. This is no way immunity can win this. Just, they're just gonna smoke, plant the bomb towards long, and uh, yeah, there's nothing immunity can do. They can they can save though. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty much all they can do. <laughs> yeah. Just save the weapons and uh, try to bring them into the next round. Still in a very sneaky position actually. Doesn't kill Forest. Um, another frag missed by him, and it's going to be quite difficult for immunity in the following round. I mean, NIP, you reckon they're going to just going to stick to these uh, these SMGs in the following round? I yeah, guess, they, I guess they, they kill, get these kills then, yeah. They should really try to save the scouts, but NIP, knowing they have the scouts, is strongly going to push towards them now. Awkward positions here. Imagine going down and... Uh, oh, they're actually going to manage to save them. And NIP doing a, like... This is a meta thing as well, wh which I'm immune to doesn't know, like... On the anti ecos or the rounds where you know the CTs don't c can't afford an op, you will always try to send the guy with the best spawn towards long just to take a peek because there is no risk involved. And if you see nobody crossing to the pit on long, you know there's, that there's nobody there. So you're basically forcing the CT showing themselves on long and they could just walk up long for people. No problem. And. Uh Looks like they, they might be able to get, them, get themselves uh, all the way up long again. They've got quite a few players there. The cat push is coming in from Immunity. They've got two guys up middle as well. So, uh, one guy, sorry, up middle. Uh, very far forward, Usillo. He's going to get caught by Forrest, maybe. Actually, Forrest with the knife out, switches to the gun just in time and gets the kill. But he's quite low, and there's a second player who is lurking towards that position. It's imagined, but Freiburg is there to help out. And NIP moving together as a unit, making sure they get all the trades. And so far, it is looking fantastic. They've... Got everyone alive at the end of the round. Three to one now the score as immunity are definitely gonna be struggling on the money. Orp comes in to play for Ricket and Orp in the hands of Alu as well. Yeah, so uh, let's see what Ricky will be able to do here. We actually see Sniper without Oh there we go. I didn't think he was gonna buy an armor. And let's see what kind of setup immunity will do. Probably gonna go aggressive long. So he's still just gonna get left in the pit for immunity and they have uh, put two players towards middle at the moment. They, what kind of a crossfire going on. Ricky can uh, move towards B if he wants. But uh, so far not much really given away by NIP. They're playing a, a slow round here. We're at 1 minute 20 and they've started to, start to take over Catwalk with just one player. So very slow play here from NIP. But they have all the map control they need to now make, a, make some kind of a decision. But they don't really have the, the info of exactly how immunity are set up. Yeah, and uh, very few people on B, like Ricky playing mid with AWP late in the round. You usually see the AWPer rotating back to car in the later stages of the round. So this is a really interesting setup. If I'm uh, an Apigo for the B split, it's an auto win basically for them. So this is really risky for Immunity to do this. Yeah, and they're gonna go A, a actually, so 
wouldn't be surprised if Immunity managed to win this round. If you still can get both kills on long, they have a really decent chance to hold this, but he's really got to come out with a play. It's one on two. They are looking for him. They know that, he's, that a guy has to be somewhere here. He's going to get the first frag. Here we go. Oh, the jump, though. That's going to be the end of him. Get right will actually now provide that flanking presence up long as this push comes into short. Immunity holding on fairly well at the moment. Just Alu left over with the AWP, but he's going to take off the head of Ricket as he searches for Sniper. But James has his back, and it's going to be the round for Immunity. So they managed to defend against the A split in the end. So... Good stuff from them. And once again, super risky play from Immunity, leaving, having the AWPer in CT spawn. It, like, that position makes no sense, because the terrorists, like, if they go up mid, they will always smoke CT spawn. But uh, them having four people towards A totally worked out there, but... Uh, yeah, let's see if they continue with this uh, weird setup. They might be pushing Long House at the moment. It's indeed, and imagine it's going to walk straight into Freiburg. I wonder... Exactly what the, the idea was behind that, but they got two players here. Quick reinforcements. You still are getting the spray down as they are completely blinded. That's going to stop the presence of NIP into the long area. And NIP reacting quickly here. They've sent uh, Alu up to look for a pick onto the A bomb site. They spotted Rick here. He is up, uh, stuck on the bomb site behind the crates. He's got to be able to take down one player here. There it is. Looks for the shot. No connection. And he's down to 21. He's been naded so low. Quite surprised that he's actually still alive, but immunity. They have so many bodies on this defense. Forrest taking down Sniper. Ricker though, gets the response. Ali and Exist remain. Exist trying to create a new opportunity here for his team. If he can get a pick towards B, that could open up the round for NIP. And it looks like they're rotating back now, so it's, it's going to be all on the B player. James. So here comes Exist. Now he really needs to get the damage done. Ali is really low on health. He goes, finds James. Had too many angles to cover, it would seem, as now they're going to get the bomb down. Two on two retake. And Alu's got that AWP. Jumps across, goes for the plant, and we have Exist setting up towards Dark. So very standard stuff here from NIP. Now, can Alu get into position before he gets caught? He's just going to be playing the big box there on the site. Or on the plateau, rather. Now they're jumping in. Alu with the first shot. Takes down Ustilo, spots the pixel of the remaining player, Ricket, and he's going to try to back away the AWP. There is not much he can do. 21 health. He's going to get out of there with the AWP, but Immunity going to get reset again after two heavily invested rounds. Yeah, and once again, Immunity playing so risky. I mean, Exist just walked out in the middle. I mean, sure, Immunity only had three people left, but you could easily just have one guy on A just standing in an angle where you can just scout middle. You can just see if they cross towards B. Because all the guy on B needs is the information. Okay, they have crossed. They can come from middle. But Exist just walking behind him and getting a free kill. And uh, losing the, the money control is, is uh, such such a, a big deal here. As we're going to see just the off save from Ricket and the rest of his team complete eco. Just a couple PT50s and that's it. So I'm actually to get some clean rounds going for themselves. They might even be confident to start testing how the double up would play. But then again, if they feel like the faster pace works, they can just they can easily just stick with the AKs. It really is definitely how they uh, how they interpret what's the most efficient way to play the situation. And Friday's going to open up middle with the AK, and they are sticking together. So playing the playing it by the book, anti eco. Yeah, and this should be this wrong for NIP. Maybe they will lose one or two players now. And uh, let's see if NIP will plant right away, or they will just wait with a plant so they can try to find out where the op is. Uh, before they plant it, because of course you will add or make it 35 seconds left of the round as soon as you plant. That's really awesome as well. They're doing exactly that. They're, they're so far pushed forwards before the bomb has been planted, giving them all that time to uh, scout out the AWP player. And th look at this, they're just swarming the map here. It's full on hunt mode for Rick here, and he's over at T spawn as we can see. Now, is he going to be able to get any damage done here? I mean, if he can take down like, three or four players. I mean, can happen when they're charging towards you, but he doesn't get even one. So, immunity now, another eco, and that should allow NIP to go six to two. And now they've got the double up in play, Forest and Ali. Yeah, this is really, really rough for our immunity. I mean, I think they showed they would just be better off if they just went for a standard setup as CT instead of taking this uh, like big risks, like every single weapon round. And 
like that, what is he doing? He's just running out mid, completely alone. There's nobody there to cover him. Like, you can at least do, try to do a stack on the ether. So have some kind of T-play setup. Yeah, exactly. If you the advantage to win a fight. But, uh, well, they are suddenly gonna go down one by one. Of course, the round will be a little bit slower for NIP, having those two orbs in play, especially considering they're against pistols. So you have to take extra care, but they're... They're making the move that makes the most sense. Just you know, getting up long, less angles to worry about. Um, you can use the AWP on those really long, long ranges very easily. So NIP with a standard play, with a standard finish in this round. Get right, it's just going to be able to rick it. There goes Imagine as well, and the bomb will be planted. So not much the immunity can do here. Now, what would you like to see come out from immunity in there? in their buy round, because they know now they're up against double orb. How, how should they respond? I would go for the... P maybe the opera can take a peek in middle in the beginning, but then as soon as he, like, they smoke the mid door, so he feels like he can't get anything more done, he should just rotate back to car, then play too defensive in the B side, and just uh, go for the retake on A if they push short, and just try to have two people on long. You don't want to give up long for NIP, because NIP will take long, and it will take long later in the round as well. We saw one the previous rounds where they like went out when there was 40 seconds left, two people. Uh, where we saw he did that, like, you know, the awkward jump towards the pit. And, uh, yeah, ha leaving two people at long, late in the round, I think, will be the key. What do you think the hard, one of the harder things to deal with against playing against NIP is? Well, <laughs> one of the hardest things is, like, you can play it right, but NIP is so good in this, like, 3v3, 3v4, and they can play with a like, disadvantage, only have three people left, and they always make like good decisions late round, and I think uh, that's probably one of the hardest things uh, about playing versus NIP, because you can get on like one or two entry frags and still lose the round. And uh, Immunity, they, they went for a very forward presence at the start of the round, they got these two players on catwalk, they were peaking middle, they had the, the flash over the top, and NIP, they've moved into B, they know it's up for grabs, they know it's f for free, and they're taking it as such, and Ali's just going to pick up the bomb here, but the trade's actually not going too horrendously for Immunity. They, they did actually manage to find with their, uh, their mid-aggression uh, some damage, but the problem is is that they're still disadvantaged. Three on three, um, with the smokes down, they have to go for a retake. They don't. They just invested everything as well, so NIP looking good at the moment to close out this round, unless an Immunity, with the limited grenades they have, they can work their way in, but Exist is going to eliminate the threat into Dark. Now that's really crucial here, because if they can kill the time, in the front of the site, then immunity, you have to then play that awkward dark situation. That's not gonna, not even gonna be a factor here. They're gonna go for the save. Yeah, they really need to save the weapons right now. And I, they shouldn't even buy an extra round, even if they can buy, they can buy five M4s, force because I think they really need those ops. And I really would like them to play a bit more defensively, put that op onto car. And what you're doing then is basically forcing NIP to have either just walk out short and just get killed by the op, or have a set like execution round for a B split or an A split, which I would say is the weakest part about NIP. They don't have like those sick smoke executions, maybe, right. like other teams. Now this could be an edge if uh, James could get a frag with the AWP early into the round, but nothing's going to happen. They've got that three-man uh, standard push towards long at the start here on the CT side, have immunity, and they've uh, left Yusilo over there once again. I believe it is Yusilo. Yeah, or is it actually Rike? Or actually, it will be uh, Imagine, sorry, who is up close there on the long doors. He's going to be able to pick up Get Right. So, early edge found by Immunity. And NIP now, to, now need to uh, figure out what the best approach is. And they actually have one AWP in B, I think. So, still very risky play. And one guy in C to spawn. They really are like expecting NIP to keep pushing this A bomb site. Interestingly, one thing that Fnatic used to abuse was how NIP back in the Katowice days used to just always push middle in situations like this. It was very likely for them to do that, but we can see that they have now worked out that that was exploited and now are mixing things up. They go for that short play. It's going to be a trade immediately as they wake their way up. And problems though is that they are down a man. Usilo there with the vision over the smoke thanks to the crate. It's going to be able to pick up Freiburg. The bomb is now down on the site. Alu's left to clutch it with this all close range. Usilo is going to eliminate him and Forrest so far away from the bomb. Gets tagged. Forrest wants this kill here. He can at least go out with a bang and take a lot of... Uh, or hopefully make uh, it more of an investment for immunity. And uh, considering their money situation, 
That then puts a, that put then puts NIP in this spot where if they win this next round, then immunity will be in a lot of trouble. But I see that's James there. For you that don't know the players, this is immunity James on the camera. Yeah, and I, I like the decision there for James to just rotate back into B. He knew that uh, he shouldn't give up that op. They really, really need that op, and they have double op now. It's going to be interesting to see if they can make this work. So it's going to be James and Ricky orping it, and. Uh, uh, not Sniper as I would have uh, anticipated. Rick is there actually alone. Oh no, Sniper is there with him. Here onto the B plat. There's the first man spotted. Forest with that AK. Very brave stuff. Probably didn't expect the AWP. They were probably just thinking, okay, they're just running single AWP setup. And in instead, Rick is going to put the surprise and get the early kill. Trey coming in. Those Freiburg entries into middle. Things getting a little bit scary right now here for Immunity as Freiburg puts so much pressure in middle. The smoking off CT spawn. Now, Immunity trying to put in a response, but NIP looking for this split. Three men from Dark, though. And two still in the site for Immunity. If they can keep this delay going, this could actually work out for them. But in, Freiburg goes perfect timing, and the frag's going the way of NIP. They have the bomb site. And now it's up to Isolo and James on the retake. Nice uh, incendiary there, but Freiburg is going to eliminate Isolo and James alone with the AWP. And this was, oh no, this was, that previous round was a nice round for NIP to lose, to then win yeah. this one. Oh my goodness. And look at the mana. So with mana on immunity and, uh, <sighs> yeah. It's looking really rough for immunity right now. And they, like, they got a good opening. And this is what I talked about earlier. You can get a good opening versus NIP. And... When those trades at Ouch. B happens, like NIP always get the upper hand, like always. They traded like they wanted to be. I mean, they had two players on the site. They all only managed to get one player, so their own was basically over there. A little pair in car though, but I was going to check it, and uh, they could probably predict this as well at this point. That I mean, NIP have been showing. Okay, we're playing double AWP. We basically end by we end the round always by just going long for the A push because it's pretty much the safest thing you can do as a team, I guess, when you've got two orbs. So, uh, Immunity even had some players in place for that, but they do get taken down. They are going to force it up here. Famas, three Famases, and a distinctive lack of grenades. Okay, so... Yeah, no AWP on Immunity now either. Oh, oh they're going to push Dark. The bomb is there as well. If they can actually push Dark, get the bomber down straight away, then they might have a really cool situation. And there you go. James is going to take down the bomber. And he's going to fall back with the M4. He can't take control of the bomb. James, though, with a nice angle. Freiburg uh, not anticipating that push in upper dark. Kind of can't synchronize with his team. Gets taken out in middle. And we've got a three on three. Alu gets tagged down to nine. And immunity looking in uh, fairly decent shape in this round, considering. Zisalib wants to go for this open chance against Exist, but Exist will barely win it. Five health left on him, making this very doable here for James. And imagine, as they come in for this retake, James going to spot the first man. Can't take him down quickly enough. His positioning is pretty hard to deal with. Here comes Imagine, though, on the flank. And he's got the shot, though, and that leaves it all on to James. Once again, great entry man for his team, but it Exist is going to take him down 10 to 3 and NIP are really running away with this one. Yeah, and NIP winning all the like 4v4, 3v3s, there's like nothing I mean, can do that. They get decent openings in the rounds, but NIP is just so confident and so comfortable with playing those situations. Okay, so a short boost here from Immunity to maybe get a really fast timing on Catwalk, try to get a, a frag very soon, but uh, Freiburg, very fast timing of his own, rushing straight down Suicide. It's going to take down James. He's still on out, trying to keep the damage going, but he can't quite get an angle on Freiburg. Freiburg just taking him down one at a time. Still will finally get the frag, but it's a uh, small consolation at this point. Three on two for an IP. Freiburg's going to make that a three on one now. There's Ricker spotted. They know where he is. He's going to be finished off by Exist. 11 to three. The uh, first half almost over now, and NIP with quite a result. Yeah, I would say Immunity mean, would have needed at least 9 or 10 rounds this half, and them being down 3-11. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> far away. Yeah. <laughs> it's not looking that good.
Oh, okay, I think they know what's going on here. They, he, he showed the uh, grenade there, I actually didn't throw it. Ricky though on uh, Catwalk with that AWP and James on middle. That might just be enough to catch Freiburg off guard. There it is. Ricker takes the kill onto Freiburg. And they get another early round advantage. This has happened actually in a lot of their rounds, but they can't quite seem to keep that advantage going. And IP, as you said, they are so good in those mid-late round situations that it doesn't even seem to matter. They've lost two now though. Yeah, this should be a round for immunity. I mean, I almost feel like they have to make a mistake. There's one minute on the clock. Yeah, James with a, makes it the third entry frag there for immunity as well. Okay, so they might be able to just pull this uh, this fourth round together. It's still pushing a longhouse now. Spots get right, gets the immediate dink, sprays him down. And Forrest is now the only one left. So, spotted as well. A great shot there from him. How much more damage can he do with four health? They are swarming him. Just look at the mini map here. It's going to get taken out. 11 to 4, first half score. NIP, they just need to really win the pistol. And immunity are pretty much. The map's pretty much over for them. Yeah, I mean, they don't even need to win the pistol. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but like, if they win it, it's uh, just a nail in the coffin. There is nothing immunity can do, can do to come back from that. But who knows? Maybe. Uh, like, the only scenario I can see them coming back from this is like they win the pistol rounds, they, they win the three first, then they like lose a 1v1, and then they win once again, forcing NIP to like having five or five or six e echoes in the like first ten yeah. rounds. That's like the but only the way. perfect situation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, Get Right has actually pushed lower dark, so they got some info as to what enemies are already doing early on. Uh, but then if you've left two, two guys towards uh, long at the start of the round, and Get Rice coming in with the flank does get immediately taken down by Ricca. So again, immunity, they look not too shabby on some of these pistol rounds. They've got a nice advantage, but we still have Exist alive in the B bomb site. So you, you never know. Does spot a couple players there oh. trying to get the fast <laughs> headshot, but he cannot get it. And uh, pretty, pretty. Uh, it's nice so move. awkward with a uh, USB silencer yeah. when they're jumping around with there with the clocks. And when they're, they're not facing you, the head, exactly. hit, head hitbox is so awkward. And uh, you need like uh, 15 bullets to kill them if you try <laughs> to shoot them yeah. when they have killed or so. You just have to go for that headshot. And uh, NIP really should do two full ecos now. And they're buying Peter Fifties and a Deagle on Freiburg. This is Freiburg interesting. Loves the Deagle. We're seeing more and more deeks, especially in the Eastern European scene. We're seeing lots of deeks lately, at least from the matches I've been casting. Simple. When it's in the hands of Simple, <laughs> oh my god, it's ridiculous. That guy has some. Sp he's definitely. I think he's the best dealer in the world. Like hands yeah, down. Yeah, like yeah, hands sure. down, best de dealer in the world. Damn. His deagle's ridiculous. But that guy is simple. I mean, maybe it's not the discussion to have now. But that guy is just his talent is ridiculous on that guy. Okay, so just standard anti-eco stuff here from Immunity. They're moving together up long here. We saw NIP take the same approach on their T-side uh, anti-ecos. And you can see why. And interestingly, NIP hadn't... They, they, they gambled in the stack towards B in this one. And, uh, well, they can keep the pistols alive into the following round. That's definitely an option. Get some, uh, get some damage on that way. But Immunity hunting them down. Yeah, I think they, they think that... And I paid about like Kevlars and Scouts and stuff, because otherwise it doesn't make any sense to hunt them down on this round. With the Ally just looking for a weapon here. And yeah, let's see uh, if uh, Immunity will make it happen. As we predicted, if they win the three rounds now, then lose a 1v1 and win the round after. <laughs> yeah. That would be like the perfect scenario for them. And I think uh, Thorin predicted six rounds for Immunity, so, yeah. well. <laughs> well, so I don't know if that's gonna, I don't think that's going to happen. Don't yeah. think it's going to happen, not, uh, not in this match at least. Okay, so... Immunity still sticking with some of the, uh, the SMGs to keep themselves cost efficient. And uh, imagine actually maybe even looking just to get himself straight in there with the P90, but three players here for NIP could make things pretty difficult for Immunity as they Oh, bunched up here in the choke point. There's the first one immediately down by the P250. Doesn't know which way to look. It's still a caught between two men. And Immunity lose both players. Why would they go into B with only two players? Just trying to yeah. trade? Like gain information? If you're just going to try to gain information, you should set one guy with a P250 or something. Not two guys with AK or, or maybe, no, not AKs, but SMGs. Right, right. It's the, the logic is yeah. the wires are like crossed there. 
the cognitive, dis cognitive dissonance. And we're going to see uh, the, the retake coming in from NIP. And they have some SMGs here, but looks like uh, they might be content for the exits as well. They don't have a kit, so they need to move a bit faster than this. But they did wait to just all line up, but the spray comes down, and wow, NIP actually getting both frags with the SMG. But they need the defuse to come in pretty much now because they have no kit on them. And look at them darting out of every single angle, There's and the no defuse time. is coming it's in, but. Ali, he needs to drop that AK to someone, or does he uh, get, yeah, make yeah, this? Yeah, he's gonna make it, he's gonna make it. Oh, it's so close. No, oh, no! no. He's gonna make it. That was... So close, but they lost every weapon, and that's gonna make their economy fragile now. They gotta go for the full rebuy, all players, and you can see how much damage that's done. They, none of them really have much money left. Yeah, um, let's see what happens. So, seven rounds. So, route right now, James is the correct one. And uh, actually, uh, two SMGs here on Freiburg Forest, and I, I actually like these decisions because they saved the, the weapons from the previous round, and they can just like they just don't want to be forced to eco. They don't want to fall into that tra trap which we talked about earlier, where you can get to down to like one thousand four hundred dollars again. They just want to be able to buy as many rounds as possible. Okay, so Muti, they are doing the uh, the standard kind of timing here, taking over uh, short rounds at one fifteen, one twenty. And it looks though like they, they've got a lot of bodies there, so they might even just try to push up, but they don't have long control and they don't have anyone with presence on long. So it might just be to pressure, gain some information, waste some nades from their op opponents, and they can go for that quick cat drop. But there's two players in B from Bananas. Uh, sorry, it's <laughs> two players in B <laughs> from NIP, so <laughs> they are going to be good against any cat drops, but it's going to be the A play. They've got nobody on long. So they've just got a lurker in middle, a top mid, four players pushing up cat here. Looking for the short plant, they're gonna get it, but they've lost a, a, quite a couple, well, a couple players so far. Four on three here. NIP still with uh, those two SMGs. That's gonna make life a little bit interesting. And they actually have one guy out still up in mid for immunity. He had, and it's going long. It's not even planted for long. Ricket taking down Get Right. They don't have the grenades anymore to to really smoke off or flash off the players. Playing Catwalk Sniper coming in. Exist does take down Ricket. He's in a one on one against Sniper. Sniper's pushing forwards, and it is going to be Exist falling back with the AWP. Is Sniper going to make it out of there alive? Not, uh, okay, he will. 41 HP. But again, Immunity, they spent... They won the round, but they're losing so many players that they're actually losing money here. Yeah, exactly. Like, NIP still has a huge opening back into the staff. As soon as they win one round, they might even force Immunity on Eco here, and Exist even saving that up. And we see a... Is it a full YOLO B, maybe? No, this is interesting. Oh, oh, he messed up the smoke. That's a really important smoke as well. But is it going to matter here? Going to spray down exist straight away. One more player on the plateau. It's Forrest. Only gets a single kill. That's really good news here for Immunity. As, uh, well, <laughs> Ali comes into play, picks up one. I actually think NIP should go for the exits here. Yeah, I mean, uh, they've been putting so much pressure on Immunity's economy already. There is a player lurking towards uh, the T-spawn side of Upper Dark for Immunity that could cause problems, but are NIP just going to go for this? They're actually moving up here as if they want to try to make their way, and they've got quite a lot of grenades, and Immunity don't have any grenades left. Oh, that's a great smoke there into Dark. This could happen here. NIP dropping down out of the window, trying to spot the players. Get right picks up the first one. You still have James coming with two apiece. Alu needs to clutch it, but there's no time. They get the kills, but there's no time. And Immunity win another round, but they have... They w okay, so the way it's gone is they lost five players, lost four players, yeah. lost four players. So they, again, their money, they're using all the money every single time. Yeah, and IP still has a like, big opening back into this game as soon as they win a round, though. They're actually going to go for that eco. And just imagine if NIP were just, just going for the exits. They might have killed every single player and saved three weapons. And like being, being able to buy this round. So pretty poor decision by NIP, but uh, it's a hard one. When you're 3v3, you still think you can make that big retake. Nice grenade to block off Ali there. And again, a nice smoke from Ali to give himself cover for an extra long peek into lower dark. Immunity handled that well though, they didn't lose anybody, they got rid of him for a cost of $300, just one smoke. And that's the way to handle that, very calm. And Alu didn't get much damage there, he's repositioned a short, doesn't pick up damage here. Immunity able to 
so far circumvent Alu's kind of aggressive peaks early on into the round and they are taking map control as they need. They have short. James has even peaked quite deep in some, into some of these angles towards the A bomb site and smoking over towards that bomb site as well. Looking quite interesting. That pressure towards A looks like they want to go for the cat drop. That B split is going to happen here from immunity. Although they do actually. They're faking it actually. They're going back up now. And it's going to be uh, just pushing all the way around. He's going to figure it out. Forrest takes down Ustilo. Trade's coming in. But the A bomb site is clear. They've made this work, but they're a man down. Yeah, and NIP should. Just be looking for getting at least two more kills. I mean, they're gonna try to go for it, but it doesn't really matter as long as they get a lot of kills. Immunity, they're gonna clean up 10 to 11, and uh, they're actually making this work so far. But still, three kills there for NIP, and if you just look at Immunity's economy, they're still in that we have to eco if we lose situation. Yeah. But that's the thing, it's the, it's the uh, NIP need to close one of these rounds. They've been in that situation for ages now. Yeah, yeah that's actually true. I mean, I'm Unicamp, I'm yeah. Unicamp can play this game all yeah. day. <laughs> they <laughs> exactly. will win. <laughs> oh, but Ali going to find an opening advantage for NIP. And uh, he was looking so hard for it last round. Finally going to get it this time. And the smokes for CT spawn. Potentially a faster play coming in from Immunity now. But two players on the bomb site, and IP they're positioning well. Forest finding the kill there from window. It's not looking good for immunity. Smoke's gonna cover off plateau, but exist over the top, gets taken out. So Forest is left alone, but get right comes in. Great stuff there from him through the door. And uh, 12 to 10, NIP win that round, and there it is. They <laughs> There's the eco. How many rounds did they win in a row? Where they, where they were basically in the situation where they lose one, their eco. Six like rounds. Six in a row. Or, yeah, the pistol Something and like uh, that. three weapon rounds. It's and ridiculous. Uh, my prediction, six and ten, might not look that stupid. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, lots of players here towards uh, Upper Dark. It would, look, it would look like a standard kind of just wait for the, uh, the pre nades and then just rush into B with these Tech Nines. They do have a smoke and two flashes, so that smoke could cover them. Um, the, the, the approach from Plateau, potentially, to eliminate Exist's angle. But still, I mean, this is a pretty narrow corridor to spam through, so it's always going to be dangerous, even if it's smoked off. Sniper, he could really use the smoke here as well. This is a n nasty uh, situation, pistol versus rifle. And now they know. Exist with the spray, and that's exactly what we're talking about. Three, four frags for NIP, only one for immunity. And the last finished off by Forest. 13 to 10, NIP looking good, but Immunity, they are going to be able to... Uh, they can buy, but it's... Ugh. It's, it's going to be an awkward ugh. buy, but I think they have to go for it here. I mean, NIP with four people surviving, sure, they have a small bank, but Immunity, like, they know they only have to win probably two rounds to force NIP to an eco, and that's their best bet to get back into this game. Oh my <laughs> goodness, get right. What happened? He burned down Sniper. I, I mean, Sniper got tagged as he was on uh -huh. the angle. And, uh, well, the flames, the pre-incendiary the pre, uh, is there. It's not super common to see the pre-incendiary there, so that's like really nice to see that. Because uh, that's like a super, that's like a quite a big investment from the CTs, but it's a super safe. I'm going to get into here, into, into my position super safe, basically. I mean, we see CTs often smoking off long, but there's a lot of risk in that as well. You've got to have a more... When you see that, you know that there's two or three players towards long. Um, so he's doing that because he was alone. You're going to see the uh, smoke there, not really towards CT itself, but he still is just pushing in aggressively. What an angle he's going to find onto Alu. That's actually a massive kill from Ustilo. This kind of movement here from Immunity is kind of nuts. What is going on right now in IP? You're wondering as uh, Getright's going to find Ustilo. He's going to turn around and completely destroy Getright. Things not looking too shabby now for Immunity. Four against three in this round. Freiburg caught between two players. This Ustilo guy is behind all of the entire NIP team, and he's going to just completely crush them. And if I'm, I'm Immunity is going to win this map, this is the thanks to this round on Utilo. I mean, they were down a man, and he takes out that car position, Alu, with an AWP at car, which is probably the hardest position on Dust 2 to pick someone off, and uh, then manages to get two more frags as well. So basically winning the round all by himself. All right, so let's see if they can keep it going now. They've, they've got that round in the, uh, in the bag, and uh, NIP's economy is going to be a little bit strained from that one. So if they can just keep it going, if they can just keep the pressure up, if they can force that eco, they can definitely take a map off of NIP. That would be massive for immunity. 
but also huge for uh, for the, Oce the scene of Oceania and the Oz CS as well. Okay, so immunity. Now they've got that push down towards middle. They don't have cat control just yet. They're uh, they're a bit slower this time than before, but well, we can see the uh, smoke, the defensive smokes there from IP making life a little bit more difficult. And uh, they're trying to entry their way with James. James is the, generally their main entry man, but we've seen him pick up the AWP quite a lot, even on the CT side. So showing a lot of versatility in his ability to find the entry frags for immunity. And I like this play for an NIP. They're playing it super safe. And they're playing the way I talked about earlier, where you're basically forcing the terrorists to do a, a set execution. And uh, we're going to see a short execution here now. This is a team, uh, is Immunity, that have a lot of executions in the bag to play from. And here we go, the executes coming into play. Alu with one defensive frag. Get right, gets one himself before being traded on. And oh dear, Alu able to pull out the quick hip shot there onto his stillo. And three on two is now the, the uh, he has to push situation. Up no. I think he's playing way too passive here. Might be coming in from the back, takes down Forest. Ali's still in a good position there, and Exist cleans up the bomb site. He can just basically hit the defuse. They know a sniper is. Ali's going to be peeking. He just has to delay him for the for the short thing. And there it is. The jump shots required. Oh no! He. Oh, get it! Oh no! Oh my goodness! And sniper, he should have known it was a short plant. Yeah. And had he known that, he would have gotten the frag guaranteed. And that would have been the round for immunity, but that small mistake, that small mistake yeah. in communication, in the chaos, in, in the most important them. round in the entire map as well. And this just small mistakes by immunity. They also threw the smokes, and you saw one guy just running out the smoke before it popped, and all got the first pick as well. Just these small things that would uh, make them able to win that round and probably the map there as well. At least he's gonna help his team get back into the into the next round, but. That might, I mean, as you said, that might be maybe even one of the most important rounds of the entire tournament potentially for them because they're up against NIP here. Taking a map against NIP would be huge for them, and uh, and that could have been one of the big moments. But they can still put NIP into a very rough situation. NIP spent all their money in this round, and two men down. NIP are suffering massively in this one. Now, Immunity, can they keep the advantage going? Get right. He knows he's got to take a risk. He knows he needs to even the situation. Going to find the back of Ricker. The spray is not enough. Ricker goes down to 24. They know where Get Right is. Get Right's got Alu joining him here. They're covering each other. All three together. NIP are moving in to try to catch Immunity off guard. Get some good trades going. But in goes Sniper. Spray down from the back. And it's not looking good here for the Swedes all of a sudden. As... Uh, the P250 comes out, and that's going to be the end of NIP in that round. And it actually might work out even better now because they've got no money. Yeah. Immunity can just win, can actually win from this position. And I can't believe NIP went for that after plant. Why would they do that? They were three people in the middle. They took that guy in mid, and they could just easily just fall back, go for the exit tracks from B, decided to just run out straight mid to a 3v4 after plant. And that, might, that decision might actually cost them the game, or the map at least. Definitely, um, we know the, uh, the third map is not going to favor them all that much, but at the moment uh, it's not looking too shabby here for Immunity to just run over them. Although there is a trade and these, uh, these flashes are going to make problems here for Istillo. He's going to go down and that's two men down, one man up. Here is NIP as Immunity are looking into to, to lock themselves into this A play, but the bomb is really far away at the moment. It's actually in T spawn as we have uh, Immunity take the bomb site, and in is Freiburg. Exist has a rifle as well. Okay, we're looking for the jump shots. Gonna find himself. Rike sprays him down. Two on two. Oh, he's gonna spot one, and also his teammate as well. <laughs> almost taking Exist's life away from him. There's Imagine over the top though, and this should be pretty simple now. They've just they got the bomb across. Two on one. Exist has no armor. There shouldn't be any way that Exist can pull this one off as he creeps up. He's been doing some crazy stuff lately, but this is a tall order indeed. Now he's got some time to work with. No kit though, and that's a key factor. Takes the first frag, Imagine goes down, but Sniper gets the trade. Well done by Immunity. They lose everyone but one man, but that's not the problem here. It's, it's MIP. Oh my god, we're going to see potentially 14-14 here. Immunity and MIP, they are playing down to the wire at the moment. And, uh, yeah, they're going to go for the eco, and this is the right decision by MIP. They have to make these awkward decisions now because of their poor economic decisions earlier in the game. Them, them being way too confident in their abilities to retake the B bomb site. We're gonna have to see if 
MIP can actually pull a bit of an upset here because it always can potentially happen with the pistols. They almost made it happen in the previous round. Uh, Immunity losing everyone but one man in that one. So Immunity taking it really, really slow now. And this is a test of their composure as well because they know they're in a position where they can take them out. They know that that's the reality. They just have to hold their nerve here. That's something that NIP have done thousands of times over. NIP potentially the most, in fact, the most experienced uh, group of players in the tournament, arguably. And they do have a stack here towards A, and they have the pop flash, as our server pointed out. So, Sniper does take out Freiburg, and goes down. They actually have the bomb all alone towards Long now. Would like to see the bomb rotate back towards A. Yeah, so, they're trying to make his way in. That smoke is going to cut off the vision for the NIP players on the bomb site. But, uh, it means you know that B is completely clear. They're going to rotate back, play the safe thing. And now this is just going to be chaos. NIP can just go for it and see what they can get done, but it's just completely chaotic here uh, from NIP. You're going to have some pop flashes just in case to make sure that the site is indeed uh, extra safe if there was to be a player lurking there, but there's nobody. In comes Get Right from the top, though, with the AK. Forrest has himself an AK as well, and they're always going to be dangerous with those, those rifles in hand. So Th This should just feel if they can get an early pick. Uh, if they can't, they should just fall back. It's actually... It's going to find the first man. There's the second man from Get Right over at the back of Plateau, spraying down for the third one. Ricky's been spotted now. He's got the AWP in hand. Misses the shot. Oh, they can't kill him. He's still alive. Ricky is holding it down. Did he delay enough, though? There's no kit. Forrest has oh to try to make God. it out of there with the AWP. And again, how many times has this happened now? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Immunity now go 14 against NIP's 14. They might just be able to take this map. Dust 2 against the Swedes. That was the most awkward situation ever when it was just st standing there in the middle of the site. It's, it is <laughs> absurd. It's completely unexpected. I mean, in our predictions, none of us ever thought it would come anything close to this. Even your very generous prediction, we all thought a 16 10 is not going to happen. Immunity now, they've got that. Uh, the economic edge, but NIP, of course, they've got the full buy-in. There's no messing around now. They've got the AWP on Alu. They're playing a very safe setup. The timing is, uh, has now rotated Get Right into, into more of a, a middle kind of peak from CT. And, uh, and worth noting is the, the team that loses this round has no money. So this, this might be the round. Like the, one, the team that wins this round is probably going to win the game. Or oh, the map at the very least. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Freiburg, he's going to be up against it right now. Alu, the thing for Alu right now is that no one's going to be coming short. If, if Freiburg goes down here, they can cover for each other really effectively. And that's going to be the big problem for Immunity. They, not having any presence on short, this is kind of a crazy play just to take long away. And they haven't got a lot of time left in the round. Freiburg peeks up. They're getting sprayed down. Two players taken by Freiburg. Alu now going into the site. They're very paranoid about short, but there's nobody there. Alu in a great position now to deal with the players coming up long. But again, they don't know that there's no one up on short. And you can see how paranoid they are. They're, they're thinking there has to be someone up, up short, but there isn't. They spot two players towards long. Alu, great flick shots there. The double for him. Just one man left. Sniper. And again, this round could mean it all here for immunity. Alu with the peak, gets the kill. Sniper hits the ground, 15 to 14, and no money left for immunity. And NIP may have just saved themselves a lot of trouble. Yeah, Freiburg and Alu just pulling out great individual plays there to save NIP. And uh, yeah, if you look at immunity's weaponry this round, it's Galil's, Tech 9's, one Deagle and James. There's, this is gonna be really, really tough. And this looks like they're gonna go for the YOLO B. <laughs> YOLO B. Rush B, no stop. Imagine first man gets sprayed down by Exist. They know what's going on. Forest and Exist are locking down the choke point, And it is very over right now. Just sniper left with a Tech 9 and some armor. And uh, NIP, it was a close call. It was a very close call, but there is uh, <laughs> very little chance with a bomb in B surrounded by Swedes. That's uh, he's going to be able to pick, pick it up and uh, make this happen. There you go. Freiburg finishes him off 16 to 14. And it's going to be the first best of 3-1 here for the Face It Stage 1 LAN Finals. Won by uh, NIP against uh, Immunity. So well done to NIP. But that was definitely a bit of a close call. Yeah, it was... Uh